you know, I got 98% of what I wanted. I'm pretty happy. But government workers are still worried about the sequester cuts. Border Patrol just sent out 60,000 furlough notices, and Nebraska-based workers are waiting for the impact of budget cuts. I will literally probably not buy food. To fix it, President Obama's reaching out one-on-one -on -one to Republicans. He'll meet them on Capitol Hill next week after a White House sit-down with Budget Chair Paul Ryan and his committee's top Democrat. Coats off, uh, sleeves rolled up, really discussing ways we might begin to bridge some of the differences. I'm hopeful that something will come out of it. But if the president continues to insist on tax hikes, I don't think we're going to get very far. Americans, not so patient. Right? Compromise, meet in the middle, make it happen, get it done. And soon, the next budget crisis is less than three weeks away. Tracy Potts, NBC News, Washington. Well, it looks like the sequester cuts are hitting home and could be affecting Boca Raton's airport soon. As soon as April the 7th, the airport will have no staffed air traffic control. And authorities fear that this move could decrease safety. Officials held an emergency meeting yesterday to discuss their disapproval. As of right now, the airport has five controllers and a supervisor. They are holding on to hope that the budget standoff that triggered the sequester cuts will be resolved before the changes have to take place.